Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I wanted to talk about vegan art supplies. Um, if that is something that is important to you, then you may find this video helpful. If you're just curious what is and isn't vegan, this video might surprise you. Now, um, I, yesterday I drew a Borzoi. It is a breed of dog with a really long nose. And today I am illustrating a cat called a Laperm, and it has curly fur. And I will link little things about these animals in case you are curious. So let's talk about some of the things that you want to look out for ingredients first, and then we'll talk about some supplies that might surprise you for not being vegan. So human hair, in brushes is something you need to look out for. You want to stick to synthetic and there are a wide variety of synthetic these days so that's great. Shellac is a resin that is from a female lac insect and that can be used as a finish or binder in inks so you'll want to look out for that ingredient. That's not vegan. Um, cochineal is from a type of lac insect as well. It's used for making red carmine dye. So you'll want to look out for that. Bone black, which some paints are called bone black, some are called ivory black. And this is made from the charring of bones. A lot of times it's cow bones. So that's not vegan. Ox gall is a watercolor medium. And it's from the gallbladder of a cattle of a cow and it improves paint flow. So you'll want to look out for ox gall. Uh, tempura paints are made with egg as a binder, so those won't be vegan. Um, gelatin, which is used from boiling skin, tendons, or ligaments, or bones from cows, and this is used to size paper and canvas. So you'll really want to look out for that ingredient as well. Um, rabbit skin glue or hide glue, that is what it sounds like. It's an assortment of animal parts. And traditionally it was used in preparation for gesso, but it can be a sealant on canvas um, as a glue and book binding. So that one, that's a tough one. You'll have to call some companies direct and ask if they use that. Um, casein is an adhesive binder that is used, um, it's made from the protein of cow's milk. And that one is commonly found in pencils. So some pencils you will find will not be vegan. Um, honey can be found as a preservative to increase color vibrancy and smoothness. So that is found in a few paints and watercolors. And beeswax, so that's also a bee product and that is used in pencils and crayons for smoothness. So let's get to a list of things to look out for. So when it comes to vegan watercolor paper, um, Canson is vegan, Hanamula is vegan, Legion, their aqua watercolor paper is vegan, um, Strathmore, all of them are except their 500 series Gemini. That one is not a vegan product. So watercolor paper that is not vegan. Arches is not vegan. It is sized with gelatin. Um, St. Uh, Cuthbert's Mill is made with wool. That is from sheep. Um, Fabriano isn't. And then the Strathmore 500 series Gemini is made with a animal byproduct, according to them. Um, Windsor and Newton, their artist paper, color paper, Saunders water, Waterford paper, Cotman paper, contains animal derived ingredients. So you really have to be careful when it comes to watercolor paper. There is a lot to know. Um, let's do another category here. When it comes to watercolor paints, you're going to find that within every single series, the ivory black is not going to be vegan. So Daniel Smith, 
all are vegan except Ivory Black Sepia Payne's Gray. And that's because they probably all have a little bit of the charred bone, the Ivory Black in those mixtures. So uh, Kaya Natural Watercolors are all vegan. Windsor Newton, the Cotman are all vegan except Viridian, Raw Umber, and Ivory. Again, I have a list that I found online that I will link in the description box so you can look at many categories. It's going to surprise you. Um, the Kiritake are vegan, and that includes their watercolors and their pearlescent and starry colors. Um, Dr. Martin is vegan. Royal Talons, except for Lamp Black. Um, Maramu, except for Van Dyke Brown, Sepia, Payne's Gray, and Ivory Black. Those all probably have the Ivory Black in them, is why they're like that. Core, everything except Ivory Black. Um, Fine Tech is all vegan. Uh, Ultrek is vegan except for the Ivory Black and the Payne's Gray. Some of these you're gonna find um, some greens, like with Grumbacher. Their Cerulean Blue, their Hooker's Green Light, are not vegan. So you're going to want to look at these companies specific. Um, Holbein, except for the Ivory Black. So things like Schmincke, the Hoodrum Aquilel, all those contain Oxgall. And Windsor and Newton, their water, artist watercolors are not vegan. And you think like Senier and M. Graham, those are all honey based. So you'll want to look out for those. Um, sketchbooks is interesting. Um, Gamblin is vegan, but and Strathmore's are vegan. Um, Canson XL, Color by Nature, Hanamula is vegan. Um, Cotty paper is sized with gelatin. And Stillman and Burn. So the paper itself is vegan, but the books are bound with animal-based adhesives. So Stillman and Burn aren't vegan. Um, let's look at pencils. So um, Faber-Castell, Derwent's, the Graphite's, the Polychromos, all the pencils, those are all vegan. Um, those are fine. Let's see, um, the Canson Ingress pastel paper and the Mitiennes are sized with gelatin, so those won't be vegan. Um, pastels, so Color by Nature and the Derwent pastel blocks and the pastel pencils and the Schmincke pastels. Um, the Schmincke pastels, all except for black, which has the PBK9 from Bone Char, those are all vegan. Um, let's see, oil pastels, Pentel are vegan, Holbein Artist Oil Pastels contain hydrogenated oil from slaughtered cows. So I apologize for this being graphic, but those are not vegan. Um, when you look at oil paints, it's going to be the same sort of thing. So you look at Windsor Newton, everything except their ivory black and their carmine. Um, that was for their artist oil. You look at like the Winton oil, everything except ivory black, raw umber for the student grade. Um, their other lines, everything except ivory black. You look at Dollar Rowney, everything except their ivory black Prussian green and Creolium hue. Um, M. Graham <clears throat> is going to be for their oil paints, Everything except ivory black, lamp black, Payne's gray, sap green, olive green, and Van Dyke brown. Again, I will link resources that you can bookmark or pin to your Pinterest so you have these. It's very specific. And there are alternatives. A lot of times companies will make several different types of black because they know, they know that that can be very difficult, like masking fluid, talons, liquid masking film, uh, Da Vinci paint, Masking fluid and Dr. Martin masking. Their frisket is all vegan. Um, vegan markers, uh, chart pack and Copic. Zig brushables are not vegan. They contain an animal derived oil as a moisturizer. So 
Inks, Dr. Martens are fine. Culture Hustle is fine. They're a very fun company. Faber Castell is fine. Windsor Newton, fine. Dowler Rowney, fine. Conor, fine. Speedball is fine. Um, the Speedball Super Blank India ink contains shellac. And the Royal Talons India inks contain shellac. So, uh, for graphite, Derwent, their graphite blocks and XL blocks are all vegan. Um, Karen Dosh's graphite leads contain fat from uh, killed animals. So, when you look at gouache, it's going to be a similar thing. So, Holbein's all vegan, Windsor Newton, except the ivory black and a bunch of blues and purples. Um, Arteza is vegan. Schminka, the student grade, is vegan. Um, the Schminka Hoodrum gouache contains gelatin and ox gall. Same with the Schminka designer's gouache and the calligraphy gouache for Schminka. M. Graham's artist's gouache all contain honey. So I hope this list sort of got you started. Again, I will link things like Crayola crayons. Um are not vegan okay so i just want you to know that it could be some things that surprise you i hope this helps i hope you have a wonderful day and i will talk to you tomorrow bye